Our next step, now that we've got our passes and fails in, is to make this cell, or these cells rather, change colour depending on whether they say fail or pass. That's called conditional formatting. So I'm going to highlight these cells, and up in conditional formatting, I want to have a new rule. Um, cells that contain, and the menu changes to look like this. Cell value is equal to pass, and I'm going to put this in speech marks. Just beware, if you use the arrow keys at this stage to try and navigate through your text, it just flicks over a cell. That's what happened to me a moment ago. So if the cell value is equal to pass, I want to format it so that it goes fill color green. OK. And OK, let's just check that that's happening. No. So what that means is if I manage my rules... Yep, it's put some speech marks in for me, so I'm just going to edit it. I didn't need to put those speech marks in after all. Let me just edit it. There we go. That should be better. There we go. Now, at the moment, it's turning the passes green, but it's not turning the fails red. So I'll highlight those cells again. Conditional formatting. New rule. Cells that contain. So the value is equal to. This time, fail. Remember, you don't need to write the speech marks in. Format. Fill colour red. OK. OK. There we go. Now let's just test this. If I change Adam's test result to anything over 50, that word should change to be pass, and the colour should change to green. So let's try him with 51. Yep. Let's test it, because he shouldn't have passed if he only got 50. There we go. So that's working fine. So have a go at setting up your own conditional formatting.